Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick introduction to cross tabs and go over what to expect, how to use it, and a couple of things you can do in cross tabs and see in cross tabs that is really helpful for analyzing your data in the Qualtrics platform. Now this video will be a quick intro, so we're not going to do any deep dives into any particular topics, sections, or particular things you can do in cross tabs. It's just going to be a brief overview of what to expect when accessing that section of the platform. Now with that being said, let's hop in the survey and head into cross tabs. So in the survey, where you find cross tabs is in the data analysis tab. And then up here, you should see a cross tabs section given that it's in your license. So if you head over to cross tabs, you should be introduced to a brand new cross tab that allows you to configure your very first one. And if you already do have a cross tab in there, if you want to delete this one or make a new one, you're going to head to the top left corner up here and either create a new cross tab or delete your existing one. Now, to create a cross tab, all you simply do is drag things into the column section or the rows section. The column section is going to be your independent variables or your inputs, and the rows section is going to be your dependent variables, what you're trying to measure based on the column section or your outputs. So in this case, what I want to try to measure is how does this, how informative someone found the course, influence how likely they are to recommend the course to their friends and family? And then if I look at this table in cross tabs, so something to keep in mind is if you want to fill in the table with particular metrics, you just go to cells over here, check on the metrics you want to fill in. So I don't really care about the column percentages. I'm going to add average, maybe median in here. Should be good to go there. Awesome. So, as I was saying before, this is the independent variable and this is the dependent variable. So, what I'm trying to measure is how does how one found the course informative influence whether or not they recommended the course to their family and friends. And looking at this data set, what I can see is that when someone found the course extremely informative, they were much more likely to recommend this course to their friends and family. On the flip side though, when someone didn't find the course informative, they were very unlikely to recommend the course to their friends and family. Now cross tabs is really useful for breaking data into table formats as it sort of helps you establish trends, clusters if there are any in the data set, and if there are any things to keep in mind as it relates to how the data is distributed in your survey. Now something else you can do in cross tabs is add a statistical significance test to the averages and the overall statistical significance test. And then you can see that these guys are pretty statistically significant. So if I hover over this, it looks like there is some sort of correlation between how informative someone found the course and whether or not they were likely to recommend it to their family and friends. Now to recap, some things you can do in cross tabs are to analyze data by dragging them into the columns, the independent variables, or the rows, the dependent variables, and analyzing the table accordingly. And if you want to create new cross tabs or different sections which display different data, in this case, I'm just displaying the relationship between Q2 and Q1 in this cross tab, I can make a new cross tab cross tab 2 to be creative and then I'm going to relate Q3 and Q1 add in these and then add an average and add in the statistical significance test and I can see that these two variables are related as well and then finally something to also keep in mind is just as with the data analysis tab Cross tab, you can use it and filter it according to the data you want to see. So in this case, 
Let's say I got my data for this cross tab and I only want to see data for specific people who completed 50% of the survey. So in this case, I can do finish equals true. So this is just showing me those who finished the survey, but I can add a filter for, let's say friendliness is very friendly. For those who only really rated the professor or the instructor as very friendly, we can now see there's no statistical significance between that and how likely they are to recommend this to friends and family. However, if we change it to extremely friendly, there's no statistical significance there. If I change it to not friendly at all, there is a statistical significance there. So those are just some things to keep in mind when working with cross tabs. To recap once again, if you head into your survey, then head into your data analysis tab, cross tab should be located in its section here. And once you click into it, you have the option to create different cross tab spaces by doing this or deleting them and exporting them accordingly. And within the cross tab itself, for the independent variables, you're going to put them in the columns and the dependent variables, what you want to measure, you're going to put them in the rows. I hope that clarifies things and that helps as an introduction to cross tabs. As I mentioned before, in the following weeks, we're going to dive into the nitty gritty related to cross tabs and get into the specific sections of the platform and what you can do with it to get the analysis for the data you're looking for. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again soon in the next video. Take care.